Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I am coming on today to share with you my latest project. And I am kind of working my way through all of the unfinished crafts in my room. Like I have a pile of just things I've wanted to work on and I haven't. So I'm kind of trying to do that. And, and I had this big, beautiful uh, paper clip just sitting on my desk forever. And um, I gessoed it, it was just raw wood, and I decided today was the day. So I got some paper out of my scrap paper bin, it's just so cute, and I put it on both sides. And then I started adding beautiful goodies from Angel Dream Crafts, Kim on Etsy. And there is a link below to Kim's shop. And there's also going to be links below to all of the other designers on the team who are all amazing and inspire me and I hope they inspire you too. So go check them out. And of course you'll find that in the description box. And so I, this is actually part of a, um, an applique that she has in her shop that I just have cut to pieces. And so I use these two pieces here on the back. I'm trying to avoid the shadow that's happening. Uh, making it worse, making it worse. So then I created this beautiful cluster. I used this dangle trim from her shop, which um, I don't have the whole trim over here with me. I only have this piece of it, but oops, that's, that's that trim. So that's here. And then I dangled, I don't know if I can isolate it, but I dangled this other dangle trim from her shop which I can't even get my fingers on maybe but it's this this dangle is on top of this one and then I snippety snipped up one of her beautiful leaf um, laces it actually has like bundles of three and this is the long one and then the two shorter ones I've added here and here so cute and then I put on some of her amazing flowers so if you haven't seen her amazing flowers they are just absolutely gorgeous so I added this one right here which I love the color of this it looks like it's been tea dyed it's so super cute and then I popped these two right here because I thought this matched the paper really well and then I popped one of her brilliant bling pieces back here. I mean, just look at the sparkle on these. Her bling has such beautiful, beautiful sparkle. So that is what's back there. And I just think it's so, so cute. But I actually designed this to stand up like this. Isn't that sweet? And then I printed off these really beautiful um, scripture cards from Pixie Dust Files on Etsy, which I'll put a link to Pixie Dust Files below too. And I just thought the scripture cards were beautiful. And so I printed um, printed them out, and I also printed on the back, but I thought somebody could also write, maybe put their favorite scriptures on the back side. Uh, I inked the edges, and I did a zigzag stitch around each one. And on this one, I put this beautiful little butterfly that I actually purchased from Debbie in a Facebook group. I love them. They're so cute. And then in the middle, I took... Um, one of these from this dangle trim and I popped it in the middle and then stuck a very sparkly pretty rhinestone in the middle but I thought which I don't know if, you'll, if I can get my camera to get it all in I thought it would be neat to be able no you, you can't hardly see but you get what I'm saying so you could have this sitting somewhere and then you could change out the scripture cards um, as you wanted to. So there is, let's see, how many scripture cards are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten cards. And um, on this one, I used another one of those butterflies. I put this pretty uh, trim from Angel Dream Crafts, which is this right here. I put that, popped that behind there. I thought that was so sweet. So there's those, I did two of those that way. And this one just has a couple of my handmade butterflies on it. Uh, on this one, I cut up this trim right here and I put that on a few of them. So that's what's right here. And then somebody gifted me that beautiful butterfly. So I used that on that one. 
On this one, I put one of my little um, handmade paper bows because I think they're so cute. And then on this one, I put more of that lace plus another butterfly that was gifted to me. I think it's just gorgeous. And I used some more of that here, more of that lace. And then another one of my bows. And on this one, I put a, a little snippet from this applique that I've been cut into bits and then one of Kim's bows. So I just think they're so cute. And then you can just pick out which scripture you want to, you want to display and display it. Isn't that cute? It's so cute. And then there's also room if you wanted to, you could put your uh, favorite scriptures on the back and display them that way. So I did have such a good time creating it. I think it's so cute. It just turned out adorable. And there's another thing <laughs> that was laying around my craft room that is now pretty and altered. So yay, progress. Progress is being made. I'm trying to work my way through the piles. But please go over to Angel Dream Crafts and check out the um, beautiful trims and flowers and bling and all the fun stuff there is to play with. And uh, like I said, there's a link to her Etsy shop below and this will be in my Etsy and you can find a link to my Etsy below too. I hope you're all doing well. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everybody.